Hey guys, so I wanted to share some exciting news with you. Um, well, for most of you, it probably won't be exciting, but in my little stay-at-home mom world, it's exciting. Um, so I decided that I wanted to kind of redo the room because the way we had it, um, our room is not huge, it's kind of big, but our apartment in general is small. And the way that we had it, it looked really cluttered and like, like smaller than it is um and that's because when I was pregnant I was really stubborn about the way we we're gonna um put the bed and all the furniture for some reason even though um Jaime's cousin and Jaime the ones who were moving it they were like it will look better if you have it this way and I was like no I want it this way even though it came out looking really cluttered but I just lived with it and so for like probably almost a year then almost nine months We've had it, not the whole pregnancy, but her life, now she's seven weeks, almost seven weeks old, um, and then like, mm, like the third or fourth month of pregnancy, I think, so somewhere around there is how long we've had it looking like this, or like it was, and so I was like, you know what, well, now that I'm not pregnant anymore, I can lift heavy things. And I'm clear to work out and everything else. So while Jaime's at work, why don't I just rearrange the room? Because he is a clean freak, which I love because I'm not. <laughs> I like things clean, but not to the extent that he does. So that's how I knew that he'd be really happy about this. And he's been so stressed at work lately. And he took two days. Well, he had Sunday off and he took yesterday off too because his mom came in town from Florida. And he wanted to let me get some sleep and help. So he took two days off, but basically he was taking care of the baby almost the whole time. I mean, obviously I helped him, but he was very, very helpful because he wanted to give me a break. And as you moms know, you're not going to say no to a break. So I let him give me the break even though he worked and everything else. So I figured I'd do something nice for him that also like will make both of our lives kind of better. So I decided to move everything around and in our room and make it look less cluttered. I really wish I had taken a picture before because um, it was pretty bad before. It was like really, it wasn't messy, but it was cluttered. So it looked messy. It's still a little cluttered, but that's because we have like, uh, we have like a lot of baby stuff that Amelia hasn't grown into. So we still have a lot of her like little baby stuff, like her swing and stuff like that. And we also have her toddler stuff, like her bouncer chair and some toys and stuff. So we have to keep her little stuff and her big stuff, but as she gets bigger, it will look less cluttered because we'll get rid of all the little stuff and have more room. Anyways, it still looks kind of cluttered because we don't have a lot of space, but it looks a lot better. So I want to show you guys the room, if that's even possible. So let me see. So this is when you walk in and this, okay, this is like the worst camera to use. So it's dark out here because Amelia's asleep. So when you walk in, it's, oops. It's like this, oh my gosh, I can't even show you guys, this is not going to work. So it's like this, this is the bathroom, there's all this space right here, just me for size reference, and the bed is over to the side of the door, there's the bed, and then the baby stuff at the end of the bed, all that stuff, the window's right there, <laughs> and then there's like room, and then my dresser TV so yeah that kind of sucks you can't really tell maybe you could tell like that okay whatever so this is the bathroom door and when you look over here I'm gonna show you guys how it used to be so this is the door that you walk in for our size reference and then um, yeah and that's the rest of the room so how it used to be is the bed was over here and it's a cow king and it was like this so it was like all the way you can't see here there we go so it was like all the way from this wall to like all the way right here and where I'm standing you can see it's like right by the door so our bed was our entire room, and then right here, on this little area right here, was all the stuff that's over there, all the baby stuff. 
So you would walk in and all you'd see is bed and then you look over and you see all the baby mess. And um, this thing that we have in the living room, let me show you. If you can see it right there, that white thing right there. You can barely see it, but it's a, um, I forget what it's called, the thing that goes at the foot of your bed and it opens and you can put things in it. It's one of those and we had it at the end of the bed, so like, it's like in between the bathroom door, there was like this, this much space, like that much space to open the door and to, you know, so there was like no room, like. The only free space we had was like right here, <laughs> if that makes sense. Just like this little tiny, tiny bit of room. And it was just so packed and it was not comfortable, but for some reason that's how I wanted it. I was being super stubborn while I was pregnant. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. Um, so anyways, I fixed it and I'm pretty excited because it looks a lot better. There's a lot more open space. Besides the basket, that's clean clothes that needs to be put away. But yeah, there's so much more open space, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm sorry that this video was a little bit confusing. If you guys don't know already, I don't plan my videos. Um, I just kind of talk. So, yeah. I didn't know where I was going when I started this video with this video. So, I just, you know give you the best description I could. Um, so what we have to do next is that's Jaime's side of the closet. Wait, yeah, that's Jaime's side of the closet. We need to, as you can see, it's a mess. We need to organize it and fix it. But every time I do, he makes it a mess again. So I'm just like, mm. anyways, we need to organize and fix that and then it will look less messy. And then after that, we have to I don't know. The next thing that we can really do is when Amelia uh, grows out of like her bouncy chairs and stuff, take those out of the living room and then just reorganize her toy box and everything else because uh, it's a mess. Oh, and I want to show you guys this face clean cleansing oil, like face cleaning oil and um, face moisturizer that I got because it's really awesome. And they're each only $5 at Walmart. So I want to show you. Give me one second. Sorry. Sorry, I had to get Clue because I don't like her being alone with Amelia when Amelia's asleep. Alright, so the first thing I got is this Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Facial Cleansing Oil with Date Palm and Camellia Extracts. I love Camellia because my face is really dry, so it helps a lot, especially since I've been pregnant after postpartum. It's really dry. Um, it says soften and calm. So basically, it, melt, it melts away makeup, dirt, impurities without leaving oily residue, but it does... Oh my god, give me... Sorry again, my cat is being stupid and apparently wants to get in trouble because she's running out there where Millie is at. Anyway, so it doesn't leave oily residue, but it does leave your skin feeling incredibly soft. So it's awesome. Uh, it just It's just awesome. This is what it looks like, and basically what you do is you put it on your face first, rub it into your face, and then wash it off with water. So it's kind of like a cleansing face mask, kind of, except it doesn't s stay on your face as long as a face mask. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to show you, oh yeah, so this is what it looks like. Walmart for $5. They also had a coconut oil one, and it looked awesome. Well, actually it's a coconut milk, and it was like white. Like this one's like oily. It was like white. It was awesome. So the next thing is this Shea Moisture, so same brand, but it's African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Glee Moisturizer with Aloe, and there's no parabens, no phthalates, no pro propyl propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no sulfates, and no animal testing. And this one is also no animal testing as well, and it has none of that either. Um, this is what the box looks like. 
And this is what the little thing looks like. And um, let me show you what the actual moisturizer looks like because it's kind of cool. So African black soap is really awesome. I have psoriasis. So um, whenever I get a flare up, I buy African black soap body wash. And it it helps reduce the flaring, like the redness of it and the dryness. And a lot of times it will help it clear up faster. It won't clear it up, but it will help it clear up faster. So I was really excited when I saw this because my face is, of course, part of my body. So it's sensitive. It's the same type of skin. Um, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. What you do with this one is after you wash your face and tone it. If you use toner, I don't. Um, you start at your neck and you, you just get a little bit, like rub it in your hands kind of, and then just go upwards and then all over your face like a moisturizer and it dries clear. And, um, so far what I really like about that one is it leaves my face feeling like tight. Like the skin feels tight and it feels really good actually. And what I like about this is it leaves my face feeling soft. So I put this on my face, my fa my skin feels really soft and clean. And then I put this one on and it tightens everything up, but it's still soft. So it's awesome. I haven't tried putting makeup on because I'm using this, well besides lipstick as you can tell. Because I'm using this for a couple of days. And then I'm going to, psst, psycho cat, oh my god, what is she doing? Anyways, so I'm going to use this for a couple of days and then I'm going to try some foundation and see how my skin does because my dry skin makes foundation impossible to apply. So that's it for this video. I'm going to go make sure that she's not jumping on Amelia or anything and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening to my crazy rant. Bye.